I, I saw a couple of questions coming in about, one of the questions was about how have you seen the developers using C++? How have they changed over time? I mean, you've been, you know, in teaching in universities, you've traveled the world speaking at conferences, you're doing work and helping the developers at Morgan Stanley. Have you noticed how things have changed over time for the developer? Where people mm -hmm. can't hold, hold old old and newer code or starting from scratch using, you know, um, What's the term you always use? Modern C++, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Modern C++ I define as a good use of the latest uh, release of the standard. So uh, what is uh, modern C++ to me today differs from what it was three years ago and it will differ from what it will, and in three years will differ again. It's not sort of a, a here is a point in time and this defines modern because that's ridiculous. Modern is a relative term. Um, people are all over the place. I can't generalize over four and a half million people. There are people who think that C++ is C with a few weird uh, unnecessary features added. There's people who think it was a failed attempt to create uh, Java or Python or Haskell. Um, and there are people that write code based on such assumptions. So you can go and see people that, that really, really are uh, writing C maybe with a few little things to do with it. There's people that try to put everything into a class hierarchy. That was never the idea. And um, that there are people that write fully functional code. You can actually do that. And uh, if your problem is fully functional, well, you can write really good C++ for it and run it probably faster than the functional languages. And uh, similarly, yes, if your problem is hierarchical and requires dynamic, um, dynamic resolution of types, then class hierarchies, what you could do in Java becomes a fairly reasonable way of using C++. But people are all over the place. But I think by and large, too many people suffer from very old fashioned use of C++. This comes because, well, teachers tend to not have time to upgrade their uh, knowledge. Students uh, read old books, students read old code. People get coding guidelines that was uh, designed for the 90s. So I think my job is to bring people up to sort of uh, C++ 17 or thereabouts 20. Uh, and without going mad with new features. The purpose of the exercise is not to use the most and the fanciest features in the strangest ways. It is to write good code, use the features that are most appropriate for your problem. Um, I, I wrote a, a book recently and updated it called A Tour of C++. That, uh, the job of that book is to try and show people what um, give, give an overview, a tour of C++ that people can get, get to know what it's meant to do and roughly how, as opposed to knowing every little detail. I mean, you need enormous monstrous books to explain everything. Uh, my latest is 1300 and some pages, and if I wanted to upgrade it, it would be 1800 at least. And that's not what most people want. They don't, they say they want all the details, but what they really want and need is an overview. Because what you can easily pick up on the web is any detail. Um, you go to cppreference.com uh, or something like that, and, and you'll find the manual, you'll find the rules. What you need is something that guides you um, through it you can use the gui guidelines, but it, it doesn't actually um, sort of teach specifics. And you can use the, the tour of C++ to, to sort of give you an overview. It can be read in a weekend. It's 240 pages. It's uh, complete with the standard library. Um, and, and so again, I'm trying to simplify use and I'm trying to bring people up. The guidelines, the tour, is all responses to observing that people are, are all over the place with the, the use of C++. So here's another oh, I should mention. Go ahead. 
I should mention one thing in this context. The standards committee is starting to get more ambitious and things. So we have a tools group that is looking into tools, not just language things. And also we now have a study group for education, trying to create a resource for, for teachers and students. And one of the problems with teachers is they're usually overworked and they don't have time to upgrade their stuff to help them. Students uh, who want to learn C++ uh, can't find the good stuff among all the crud and will help. Them. So it's not just hardcore syntax. That's great. I'll, I'll uh, take a look and see what's going, especially in the education group. That's that's uh, that's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it'll, it's actually now on isocpp.org. If you go to standardization and look for working groups, you can find references to it. Okay, I'll put some links up 